Good morning, and thank you for being here. I'm Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, and I'm very, very pleased today to be, uh, to be here and to be joined by some uh, uh, wonderful people. Judy Kendi, the Vice President and New York Market Leader for Enterprise Community Partners. Ira Garcia, who's a special needs school teacher and will share some of her story with us. David Salzman, a partner in many great ventures in the city, the executive director of the Robin Hood Foundation, and Alexis Sewell, president of, Settlement of the Settlement Housing Fund. Uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, Two Bridges Neighborhood Council, a partner of Settlement Housing Fund, um, and the many participants that have made today possible, developers, nonprofit, for-profit developers, other agencies that have been working on tackling the problem of homeless families uh, for a while, I believe that today we take a big step forward and we are advancing a program that uh, is unique and that will have a, a major impact on these families. Uh, the basis for this whole effort is very simple. Every family deserves a home, not just a roof over their heads that can change from day to day, but a home where they feel safe and where they are part of a community. There is no reason in a society as wealthy as ours that we can't provide that. In America, we do not give you a guarantee of success, but in, uh, our whole uh, political and governmental structure and really the, the philosophy of the United States is that everyone deserves a fair shot. You cannot get a fair shot if you're living in a homeless shelter as a child. And today, Unfortunately, more than 24,000 New York City children and their families are forced to sleep in homeless shelters every night. The number of homeless families in the city is near a record high. This should be unacceptable to every New Yorker. Um, there are many reasons for homelessness, but we know that a major factor nationally was the collapse of the housing market and the foreclosure crisis that followed. Um, my office has been very engaged in trying to uh, uh, provide resources and seek to help communities and families who are hurt by that crash. Now, thousands of New Yorkers, uh, because the crash hit New York City harder than other parts of the state, thousands of New Yorkers were forced out of their homes, and many families just added to the folks, uh, the, the group of families who had trouble finding an apartment they could afford and have been unable to find new housing. Uh, so a record number of families are ending up in shelters. Finding affordable housing isn't easy in New York sort of to misstate the obvious, but many families in shelters today experience a problem where the barrier is not a lack of the ability to pay rent. And that's where this program comes in, and that's why this program is so important. Today, 25% of the families in New York City's homeless shelters uh, include an adult that works full time, and at least 2,000 families entering the shelter system every year have enough income to pay rent. The problem for these families is their inability to find an affordable home on their own. Getting these families into permanent housing is an important part of my office's ongoing efforts to help the folks and communities that were hurt by the crash of 2008. And today I'm proud to announce that I'm partnering with the Robin Hood Foundation and Enterprise Community Partners to help homeless families find apartments they can afford through a program called Come Home NYC. Um, Come Home NYC uniquely identifies qualified families in the shelter system and matches them with affordable apartments. Landlords uh, and developers who participate in the program identify the apartments, and the program provides landlords a guarantee of up to $3,000 per unit, sort of like a deposit, in case anything goes wrong with the tenancy in the first 18 months. Uh, the families will also receive support services through Single Stop USA to help make the most of this opportunity. Uh, until today, uh, Come Home NYC was operated as a very small pilot program. Uh, today, it is getting much bigger. Uh, I'm committing $1.2 million to Come Home NYC, which will enable the program to lift 300 families out of homelessness over the next two years. Uh, we're combining this with funds from the Robin Hood Foundation. This is, program is a demonstrated success, and this is exactly the kind of program we should be expanding in the city of New York. My office recovered these funds through a variety of settlements with financial institutions that to, contributed to the foreclosure crisis. The investment in Come Home NYC is just one part of our multi-pronged strategy to help New York families and communities recover. As most of you know, we're funding uh, 90 different 
housing counseling and legal service agencies to help people avoid foreclosure and to help people stay in their homes and understand what programs they're qualified for. We're funding land banks to revitalize communities by buying up vacant properties, rehabbing them, and reselling them. And uh, Enterprise is our, our partner in managing the land bank funding program. And with today's announcement, we're committing a portion of the settlement funds to deal with another aspect of the problem that has really um, been very, very hard to figure out how to address up until now, and that is the problem of homeless families that could afford apartments but are stuck in shelters. This is a smart investment because it leverages partnership with the private sector to house families in need in existable affordable housing apartments. This is not uh, a program to provide a subsidy. This is to get people who can afford to pay rent into apartments to make the system and the market actually work. So this innovative and well-crafted solution to the tremendously difficult challenge of addressing homelessness uh, doesn't require public subsidies. And in many cases, we believe, I hope most cases, that the $3,000 guarantee will be recycled back if, if the families are stabilized by 18 months. The likelihood of them being successful and staying in the apartment permanently is very, very good. So um, with that, uh, I want to introduce um, Judy Kendi, who is the Vice President and New York Market Leader for Enterprise Community Partners, a terrific partner to my office in um, our land banks, effective organization. We're, I cannot be more excited about expanding our collaboration together. Judy. Today, we celebrate a milestone for Enterprise's Come Home NYC program. We launched this pilot program in November to combat, combat family homelessness by connecting families with income living in shelter to affordable housing. Studies show that the vast majority of homeless families who receive affordable housing are never homeless again. Come Home NYC does three things. First, we make matches between families and available apartments. For every participating apartment, Enterprise provides hands-on assistance to both families and landlords so the lease-up happens quickly and easily. Second, we connect residents to services. Through a wonderful collaboration with Single Stop, families are offered preventative support services to help them remain stably housed and set them on a path to success even before they move in. Third, it provides financial insurance to get housing providers on board. For each home that a landlord rents to a formerly homeless family, $3,000 in guarantee funds are available to cover potential losses, including unpaid rent, physical damages, and legal costs. Our initial goal was to house 100 families, and we have seen great promise so far, securing homes for 34 families throughout the city. With the generous support from Eric Schneiderman, Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, and the Robin Hood Foundation, we are going to triple the impact of the program. The additional funding comes at a time when the need for innovative programs to combat our homelessness crisis is great. New York City is in the midst of a full-blown housing insecurity crisis with over 600,000 people paying more than half of their income on rent. Come Home NYC is one part of Enterprise's solution to the crisis. Every year, roughly 2,000 families who have sufficient income to pay rent land in the shelter system. These are families like Ira and her niece, whom you'll hear from shortly, who stayed in hotels and spent five months in shelter because their landlord would not allow them to return to their apartment after it was flooded. But now, thanks to Come Home NYC, they have a good, healthy, quality apartment they can afford in a safe neighborhood, and they no longer have to worry about a stable place to call home. Come Home NYC would not be possible without the initial funding and partnership of the city, Robin Hood, Goldman Sachs Urban Investment Group, Mizuho Bank USA, single stop, our landlords, and countless individuals who contributed to the program. And we look forward to continuing to work with them and Attorney General Eric Schneiderman to ensure that Come Home NYC reaches many more families. And it also takes a fantastic team to do this work. And so I want to recognize Sally Greenspan, Kathy Kim, and Chris Lasavio for all of their hard work on this program. 
Thank you. Um, <clears throat> and now we're going to hear from Ira Garcia, uh, who is a, uh, uh, was, was a Bronx resident who will tell you her story, but she provides a really good example of why this program is so important. Ira. Good morning. Thank you, Gen um, Attorney General. My name is Ira Garcia, and I am very happy to share my story with you all. I'm a special ed teacher in the Bronx. I've been working there for over 10 years. I am the sole par um, parent of my niece, Stephanie Valentine, who's 15 and is here with me today. Last year, we were renting a private apartment in the Bronx. Our home got flooded by a pipe that, ver that burst, and we were forced to move out. And that time, we lived in people's houses, families' homes, in um, hotels and stuff like that. Our, lady, our landlady initially said we were able to go back into our apartment, but later on changed her mind, decided to do something else with the apartment, so we were forced to move into a New York City shelter. We spent five months there. Um, it was one of the hardest five months of my life, and of course my niece's life. It was um, hard to get up to go to work and come back, but we were grateful to have a roof over our heads for that time. Luckily, one day we were told about a program called Come Home New York City. Um, our housing specialist told us about the program and encouraged me to apply. I applied and luckily got great news that we were accepted to the program and started being matched with landlords that were able to give us a home. Sadly, there are too many families like mine that are struggling just because of a little bit of bad luck and continue to struggle living in shelters. Um, but thanks to this great program, there's going to be um, a lot of families that will be able to benefit from the program and break the cycle of homelessness and regain, regain their safety and security. On behalf of myself and my niece, I would definitely like to thank Enterprise Community Partners to the Robin Hood Foundation and the Attorney General for creating this great program and helping many families like us get back home. And thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I note that we've now been joined by uh, Lucille McEwen, Deputy Commissioner of, of DHS, uh, another important part of this uh, evolution of these innovative programs. And, and now it is uh, a tremendous pleasure to introduce David Salzman, the Executive Director of the Robin Hood Foundation that has worked tirelessly and incredibly effectively to lift New Yorkers out of poverty and to solve problems that others uh, found intractable. Uh, David Salzman. Thank you, Attorney General Schneiderman, for that introduction. Thank you more for your wisdom, your courage, your compassion, and your leadership. Um, come Home NYC is a terrific example of what happens when people come together, when the public sector and the private sector decide that they are going to work together to make New York City what it should be. Thank you, Ms. Garcia, for sharing your story with us today. Um, thank you for joining us in Skipping School. Um, <laughs> Thank you to Enterprise. Thank you to Single Stop. Thank you to my colleagues, Ruth Ann, Bea, and Sarah. And thank you to Richard Mack, who heads up our Housing Advisory Board and shows what happens when the smarts and the experience of the private sector joins together with the public sector. We can actually make this city what we all hope it will be. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, and now we're going to hear from Alexis Sewell, who's the president of Settlement Housing Fund, a critical partner uh, and host here today. Thank you, Attorney General Schneiderman. Uh, I speak for Settlement Housing Fund and Two Bridges Neighborhood Council when I say how happy we are to have you all here today. First, to show off our beautiful building. We're very proud of Two Bridges Tower. Um, and also to celebrate the expansion of a truly remarkable program, Come Home NYC. Um, it's remarkable because it recognizes, I think, three critical things. One, that there are many families living in shelters throughout New York City who are ready, willing, and able to move into apartments and to pay rent. Um, second, that it's a lot easier to become homeless than it is to move out of homelessness. Um, we see firsthand, as, as building owners working with this program, how important the assistance is that enterprise staff offers families moving out of shelters to really get them placed into housing. Um, there is a lot of work that goes through cutting through red tape um, to move families into apartments. 
Um, and the third thing that the program recognizes, which is crucial, is that in order for people to move out of homelessness, there has to be affordable housing for people to move into. Um, affordable housing in New York City is a linchpin to solving the problem of homelessness. Um, our own experience with Come Home NYC has been great. From a provider perspective, and I would say even for those providers who aren't mission driven, Come Home NYC is a home run. Um, the phenomenal staff at Enterprise, and I also want to recognize Sally Greenspan and Kathy Kim, um, get knee deep in the very often complex work of leasing up an apartment. Um, you, you, you can't underestimate the importance of this kind of work. It really does take work at a retail level. It's almost hand-to-hand -hand combat to get people into apartments in New York City. Um, there's a lot of disparate programs that need to be navigated. Um, and it's really terrific to have people who are dedicated to it. This doesn't sound like glamorous work. It's not glamorous work. Um, but it's all the more reason that makes it so important. And I really do want to commend the Attorney General and Robin Hood for recognizing um, this important program and putting money and resources behind a program that really is getting the job done. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so thanks to all. Um, and just to follow up, this is these are not easy problems to solve, but they are problems we have to solve. Because I, as I said at the outset, the most basic principles of the United States, and I'm the lawyer for the people of the state of New York, and I know this well, is that everyone deserves a fair shot in life. And that is a very simple proposition, but if without it, the notion of equal justice under law is meaningless. You can't get a fair shot in life if you don't feel safe on your, in your home or on your streets, and you certainly can't get a fair shot if there are no jobs that can enable you to support yourself and your family in your community, and you definitely can't get a fair shot if you can't navigate this very difficult system and have a safe, stable home that you can stay in. And that, this program is solving a problem that we really didn't know how to solve before, to take the families that actually could pay rent if they could be connected to the folks, nonprofit and for-profit developers. This program solves that problem. It is another step on the path to ensuring uh, that everyone has a home and that everyone in our community gets a fair shot in life. With that. Matt, you can take questions. Well, let, let me uh, uh, start off saying a little bit about the first question, and then maybe someone else can speak about it. But the, uh, uh, you know, the challenge we have today is that we've really uh, lost the floor that is, should be there to sustain every family at some minimum level of existence. So people work full time and yet qualify for poverty programs. People have enough money to pay rent, and yet they're in homeless shelters. The problem in this case is that, uh, as, as Ira explained, if you lose your home and you're in a shelter, you don't have time to go find an apartment. I mean, everyone in New York knows how hard it is to find an affordable apartment, even if you have lots of wherewithal and contacts and good computer skills. So this is a matter of finding apartments, not providing new subsidies, but finding apartments that families can't afford, connecting them with it as a partnership between for-profit, non-profit developers and uh, enterprise and our other partners. And it has been proven to be effective, and now we're expanding an effective program, which is exactly the way things should work. I think. Do you want to say any more? I think that's exactly right. Um, I think Ira's story is really an example. I, th I think that there are many individual stories of why people fall into the homeless shelter, but the theme is really the same. The rent is just too expensive, and when there's a one-time unforeseen shock, families don't have that cushion and that safety net. And, and so there, there, we really need more affordable housing in the long term, 
Um, but in the short term, programs like Come Home NYC are really important response to the solution. Um, and as to the second part, uh, each of the settlements is very different. There are some funds that have to go to the state treasury, some funds uh, that the banks are required to provide for other kinds of programs. So this is just, this is really an extension of the work that we've been doing with Enterprise in trying to solve each problem as it comes along. We started off providing housing counseling and legal services so that no New Yorker would lose their home because they didn't have access to a lawyer, then realized that in communities where you, even if you could save your home, if you had a lot of abandoned properties, you still had a problem and property values were down and crime went up. So we started funding land banks, working with Enterprise. And we've, uh, yesterday, we're talking about the issue of zombie properties where it's, the land banks can't buy them up because they can't figure out who owns them. So today's is just another extension of this effort. What we're lo doing is looking broadly at the problems of the housing market, some of them caused by the collapse of the market in 2008, some of them caused by other factors. And, and the boom in the real estate market in New York City has made it even more challenging. But this is just, this is just a common sense program. It's a program that requires uh, the ability to make connections that don't exist right now, to connect people who can afford to pay up and see that they are qualified and equipped to handle an apartment and to find the very small number of apartments where they could afford to live and to make that work and to create an attractive program so that landlords and developers will want to come into it. Um, uh, not really. Let's see what they come up with. I certainly think that uh, we need to do whatever we can do to get kids in good schools, and I think that parents uh, who are facing a choice like that uh, certainly should be considered to get some additional help. Um, I, I don't know what kind of legislation is finally going to come out of it. I don't want to comment on it. I don't, know, I don't think that... Uh, I, I favor helping parents uh, who actually are low income and have kids in schools. I'm not sure we need to extend this to, uh, to rich donors, but we'll see what they finally come out with.